Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. This channel, Everyday Science, is all about trying to learn various concepts in data science by practicing a lot of questions. This video is in continuation of the series where we are trying to learn Python for data science by solving FANG interview questions from companies like Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. If you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer, software engineer roles, we are going to cover every aspect through step-by-step -step solutions. So yeah, let's jump right in. Okay, so in this video, we are going to solve this question on status queries regarding number of shipments per month and try to learn from it. This question has been answered in Amazon interviews and if you are preparing for data engineer, data scientist, BI analyst, data analyst, ML engineer, software engineer role, this is a great booster for your concepts. Okay, so the question says, write a query that will calculate the number of shipments per month. The unique key for one shipment is a combination of shipment ID and sub ID output the year month in format year month and the number of shipments in that month so our input is a pandas data frame called amazon shipment and expected output is also a pandas data frame which looks like this two different columns year month and year and month format and the number of various different shipments in that particular year month so let's inquire about the amazon sh shipment data frame so here we have shipment id sub id then weight and the shipment date so basically to solve this question we need to perform two things firstly from the shipment date we need to extract only the year and month part and secondly we need to make a new column called unique key or whatever you want to name it by combining these two into one now one thing you should keep in mind is that okay the data type of shipment date is a date time so whenever we are working with date time it is very good to you know import the date time library because it is very powerful to work with date times and secondly the shipment id and the sub id is integer so if you directly go ahead and add these two it is going to give you not 1011 it is going to give you 101 plus 1 that is 102 so firstly to join these two to calculate that unique key you need to convert this as strings first so firstly let's try to import date time so import date time library as dt then firstly let's try to calculate the year month column so from the data frame called amazon shipment we are going to create a column called year month by basically using a function of date time library so what we are doing is we are taking the amazon shipment data frame the column shipment date right shipment date and then using basically the date time library and why we are using a date time library because there is a function called strf time which is basically used to convert the date times in the format that you want so we only want year and month so we can basically provide capital y for year then dash and small m for month okay so if i go ahead and try to see if this new column has been created or not let me go ahead and run this let's see so here you have a year month now so you have extracted the year month out of the shipment date column now the second thing that we need to do is we need to calculate another column using the shipment id and sub id so let's call that column as key unique key whatever you want so as key and then we are basically what we are doing is we are taking the shipment id column but we need to firstly cal you know convert it using as type function to a string because we are go basically going to join these two right so because sub shipment id plus sub id is the unique key according to the question so let me just copy this entire thing because we just need to you know do the same thing just with a different column okay so this should be sub id and if i go ahead and look at amazon shipment data frame now let me run this so here now we have year month column as well as the key column now this these are the unique ids now what we need to do is we basically just go ahead group by the year month column and calculate the count of key now since these are uniques you do not need to count distinct to count distinct you need to use n unique but you can just simply go ahead and count here because they are already unique according to the question so we just do group by the year month column because we need that in our output right so if you look at it year month column and then just as we learned in our previous video we can directly go ahead and use the powerful dot ag method then what is the final name of the column that we want after aggregation count so we write that 
count is equal to then we provide a tuple okay which column we need to use to perform the count we need to count using the key column so key and then what we are basically doing which operation we are doing we are counting right so the function is count okay and since we have learned that whenever you are grouping by this will become your by default index so we do not need that as index we need that as a separate column so what we do is we basically write reset index so that it's no longer a index okay let me go ahead and run this let's see what do we get so yeah if our output now is same as expected output let me go ahead and submit to pass all the test cases so yeah, everything is green and this is how we do it so not a very difficult question it is just you know the application of the concepts that we learned in our previous videos of the series and some new ones as well so we imported the date time library because it is very powerful while working with date time data types so we basically used time method of date time library to get the year month extracted out of the date time and then we created another column call key by combining the shipment id and the sub sub id but since they were integers we firstly converted them to strings so that we can directly merge them into one and once we had the unique ids as well as the year months we just grouped by the year month and then performed a count on the key column and reset the index so yeah, this is how we do it let me know if there is a better way or more efficient way to solve this question let the solution be in the comment section below and i'll see you guys in the next video